Welcome, friends and fans, to another episode of GalaxyCon Live, where we bring you convention-style entertainment directly to you. Today, we'll be visiting the world of Boko no Hero Academia with four members from the League of Villains. And now is the time for all of you in our chat room to start typing in your questions. Immediately after this session, you'll have the opportunity to talk to them directly through our private chat options, as well as purchase autographs, personalized video recordings, and all you can find all those details at GalaxyCon.com. And now, without further ado, let's bring out today's guests. First. She is an actress and a scriptwriter whose credits include Yuri on Ice, Dragon Ball Z, and Fairy Tale. Today, she joins us as the voice of Himiko Toga. Please welcome the lovely Leia Clark. Oh! <laughs> that was my own applause. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true. This is we are definitely in a, a new era of conventioneering, uh, aren't we, my dear? Did you just say conventioneering? Yes. That's amazing. I'm stealing it. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Conventioneer. Yes. How, how are you holding up in your side of the world? Um, I'm holding up. I'm here. I mean, I'm I'm one of the fortunate humans in this world right now. Where's all the wood to knock on? Um, you know, I can write from home, and Funimation has been amazing and sent us recording kits, so we're still able to voice from home. My problem is like there's really no break from home, so. <laughs> just, I'm, I'm fortunate that I get to be um, locked in with everyone I love. So. There are there uh, th indeed, and I was very blessed that it's wonderful that Funimation has been doing that with all of its actors. We've spoken oh, yeah, four years sure. past, and everybody's beginning this home kit, and everybody's just doing it, and it's really tremendous. And speaking of home kits, our next guest just set up his next one. He is this young man is a voice actor. His roles in video games and animation include Five Nights at Freddy's, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and Black Clover. Today, he joins us as the voice of Overhaul. Please welcome our friend, Kellen Goff. Ah! Hi. Ah! Sorry, I think I think Leah started the trend of us all joining screaming. Yes. Like we're coming into a different dimension. We are. Hi everybody. Hey Kellen, how you been, bro? Uh pretty good. I, I'm here broadcasting from overly sunny California. Well very, that... very overly sunny California. Yeah. <laughs> it, this is barely blocking it. <laughs> that's good that's good so everything everything's been well with you as during our societal pause oh sure yeah as you were saying i just got the booth set up and uh you know everybody i'm working with is, has been very accommodating to let let me uh use that for it and yeah it, everything is going wonderful other than that just uh Playing video games and keeping sane. Hmm. Well, Most keeping sane. Let's uh, let's make it a little more insane because our next guest, he his credits include David Burns' cult classic film True Stories, Attack on Titan, and One Piece. Today he is here as the voice of Dobby. Please welcome everybody's buddy, Inestro, Jason Liebrecht. What's up? Hey! Oh yeah, thank you, thank you so much, thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How'd you do that? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's a stream. Stop. Right on cue. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, I love that. that is so oh cute. man, how you been, bro? I'm doing all right. How are you doing, Patty? Oh, we're we're doing great here in Orlando. We're 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 towing the line, head above water. It's all good. How about you and your family and your part in the world? I'm doing well. I've been a, I've been a teacher of late. My house has been a school. Um, and honestly, I've never spent more quality time with my boy. So you know, given that, that's the silver lining for me. He's a good papa. Mm, yeah. Right in. And speaking of good papas, uh, let's bring out our final guest. He is an actor who and writer and filmmaker whose credits include One Piece, Fruits Basket, and Full Metal Alchemist. Today, he joins us as the voice of Chicago Toma. Please welcome our friend, Eric Vale. Yay! Slow clapping. He doesn't have this. Okay. Jason, play it for him. Oh, oh now it moved to something else, man. That was <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is he frozen? Sorry, uh, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, Where is this live right now? <laughs> <laughs> the Eric Vale animatronic. Hey, y'all want to do a wave? Let's do a wave. Woo! 
Okay, that was, did not go as well as I thought it was going to be. Oh, okay. Uh, I never know. You'll never get that minute back. You I, banged my head, I banged my head against the keyboard and opened Facebook. <laughs> uh, Eric. Everything's, going well. Everything's going well. It's great. Eric, how you been, bro? I'm fantastic, man. How are you doing? Uh, we're all doing great. Uh, everything's been well in your part of the world? Uh, well enough. Yeah. You know, uh, lockdown, face masks, hand sanitizer, not going anywhere. Yes. So a regular con. These are a few <laughs> of our favorite things. Uh, oh. Crazy much. Well, guys, uh, what I'd love to do is while uh, our, our producers are, are going through the chat room and pulling out some questions, I thought I'd throw some of my own out here to give everybody a little background. Uh, I would love to know how you each individually uh, secured your roles on uh, My Hero Academia, especially these interesting ones, because we all know the villains have more fun. That's true. We do. It's damn right, now. Damn right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not been spoken. Yeah. Tell him, Kevin. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, when, when I first got Five Nights at Freddy's, that sort of blew up into the, and I got to go to the convention stuff and I, uh, they put me on a panel with, uh, Colleen, our, our lovely director and a fantastic mom and human all around. Um, and, uh, you know, we clicked on the panel. She said, uh, Cool man, you uh, you send send me your stuff. Here's my email. I'm like, oh, oh okay. Um, so you know, nothing came of that for a while, which is fine. But uh, a year later, I I got an audition for uh, Overhaul and um, uh, Sun Eater, who is played by Aaron Dismuke now. Um, she asked me to audition for both, and uh, she picked the voice I did for uh, Sun Eater for Overhaul. Hmm. And uh, yeah, so so it was uh, it was magic from then on. So I, we just did the audition. Oh, and I had bronchitis at the time, so it took me six hours to get out something coherent. So <laughs> I I bled for you. Sometimes that can help, though, man. I've I've had that secure an audition for me before, you know. Like, yeah, but you got to be able to replicate the sound. Which, I know. You know. I know. I know. Luckily, yeah. I'm I'm a raspy fool anyway, so. It, it uh it, it worked out yeah i've mentioned before about some people follow the peril of doing a crazy hail mary blah, 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 thing and then congratulations <laughs> you got the part here's your script oh no what have i done yeah, yeah. you gotta make sure you can replicate True. it <laughs> indeed for hours and hours on end hey what about you jason uh mine i i auditioned in the very beginning uh for just about everybody in 1a and mm. um and All Might, and didn't get any of those. And she told me not long after that that she had a character in mind for me. She did not tell me what who the character was. I did not know the manga or the, anything about it, really. really? And uh, my, my number was pulled, and I showed up, and lo and behold, I was this, you know, blue flame dude who I found to be super cool immediately. I fell for him on first sight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. I'm, it's I'm, the I'm hair. Pleased as punch. <laughs> punch is so pleased. I know. I know. That's a weird. That's kind of an antiquated little idiom, isn't it? Please, please punch. Please punch. Please as yeah. punch. Hmm. I think it's kind of traveled in time. Where did that come place. from? <laughs> I'm gonna find out. I please. I, don't know I have the whole internet on my phone. Whoa! Oh, that's crazy. Oh, what kind of phone do you have? John Trout. Uh, you can't, you can't. It's not for you, Jason. It's not for you. <laughs> well, you can <laughs> Leah, while Eric is uh, going through the entomology of the phrase, please, is punch, uh, perhaps you could tell us how you came on board. Which is, it's real um, exciting because it's exactly the same as Jason's. I like feel like he copied my homework on that because it's pretty much the same thing. I auditioned for um, everyone in class 1A and I wanted to be. Um, the frops real bad and uh i didn't get it and then i didn't get it in the second season i was just like okay cool i'm not in the show and then i was you know i ran into colleen in the hallway one day and she said hey i think your character is about to come up and i said 
flip character. I have and character. Um, yeah. I know, I was like, I'm in the show? And she was like, yeah, you're in the show. And then she told me that um, <laughs> she knew that she was gonna cast me when she saw this character in a manga. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow. And then I meet Toga and I'm like, okay, really fun, but that's, um, I'm the person that you thought of when you saw cute crazy girl, psycho girl that just cuts everyone, awesome. Well, you do it great. Uh, Thanks. Uh, Colleen is Eric. a great. <laughs> Look at Eric naughty. Eric like, Mail. Yep, yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm a cute, crazy girl that cuts everyone. Hi. 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 <laughs> oh, Lord. It's so weird to be talking to a bunch of people and not hear them talk back. Just saying. Oh, yeah. Mm. But we can talk Isn't that weird? Too. It's a weird thought. Yeah, Eric, yeah, yeah. Eric, did you uh, did you discover the the origin of the phrase "please the punch"? I did, I did. It actually comes from Punch and Judy. Oh, oh, that's a good. So, that's nice. I for like those, that. for those in our audience who don't know, that. Punch and Judy was a puppet show performed in the 17 and 1800s. Very, 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 very popular. And basically, Punch and his wife Judy, Punch was a horrible, abusive man who. Uh, beat up his wife and murdered his wife and his daughter and policemen and see that's how pleased I am. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. And 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 that's where it came from. And at the end of it he had a like a little catchphrase because he was always happy that everyone was dead. And so that's where pleased his punch came from. <laughs> and it's and it's still synonymous with something childlike and wonderful, but like you just said, it's incredibly grim and hideous and it's very European. Most fairy tales are. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> and um, How Ring Around the Rosie. For our little group, no? Yeah. Ring Around the Rosie, right. Yeah. Indeed. So. Ashes, okay. ashes. And... <sighs> Eric, how did you how did you come on board to uh, the world of Boko no Hero Akadabao? I, I... I don't know. I know that <laughs> when... Uh, <laughs> when <laughs> sorry. When the auditions were happening, I kept, uh, I remember I kept saying I didn't have time to do it. Like, I was like, I don't have the time. And I really didn't. I was, okay. I, I was very, very busy with some, I don't even know what it was, but it was something going on in my life, work mm -hmm. or family, I'm not sure. But I was okay. too busy to do that. So at one point I ran by the booth. I think I recorded one audition really fast, probably for uh, All Might. And then left. And then it was when the show got to its, I guess, when my character shows up in the third or fourth episode. When I got there, I was called in to play the bad guy. And, and I'm like, oh, I guess I'm playing the bad guy. I didn't audition for the bad guy. And I, I didn't have a voice in mind. And Colleen and I just messed around until we got something that sounded crazy. No, we didn't mess around, Leah. We messed around. <laughs> huh. Right. Right. I, I, just, yeah, I turned 12 all of a sudden. Sorry. Duh, duh, you, put, duh, you put some energy in our brains here. Uh, uh, thank, you. thank you for that. They messed around. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> Kellen, be nice. I'm flying your helicopter, Kellen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not hard. Yeah, you're, you're not lying to us, Kellen. You're playing a video game right now, aren't you? Maybe. <laughs> it's called the game of life. <laughs> uh, well, this is this is always this is always a funny thing, uh, especially about my hero, because Colleen is a wonderful mastermind because she doesn't look like one. But it just seems like I keep hearing everybody. It's like, yeah, I read it all at the very beginning, and then nine months later, oh yeah, your your time is up. It's like, oh, I always knew I was going to put you in this, and what? So yeah, just fantastic. And again, that's one thing that I really love about this show. It's got a, a tremendously huge diverse cast, so it's it's lots of roles for everybody. And in the convention structure, it's really fascinating because it's making anime fans interested in superheroes, and it's making superhero comic fans interested in animation. So this is this show's yeah. been a nice the bridge, bridge yeah. between these two parallel fandoms, which have always been polite neighbors up until now, and now we're seeing some more integration. So I, I'm loving it. It's the avatar of anime. <laughs> <laughs> I like the image of them as polite neighbors, Patty. That makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, two, two cool. Flanders right next to each other. Yeah, 
<laughs> hey, Dilly Ho. Hi, Dilly. Hi, Dilly. Hey, 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 you, hey, you hey. Your dog poop on my lawn one more time. I just burned the crap out of you. <laughs> You're a cute rat. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, I'll do one more with you guys, and this is the obvious question I ask you all, and uh, but it'll come up anyway. So, if you could pick your own quirk, what would it be? I would choose mind wiping to get rid of this question that you keep asking us. <laughs> <laughs> no, wow. I'm kidding. I, I would. I, I would do. Well, my uh, final question is: What quirk? Which? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I, what was the question um, again? I'm joking. <laughs> I like electric. Oh, vehicles. Lord. I want to control. Toga, uh, what's, your, what's, your, what's yeah. your choice? I mean, Leah, sorry. Oh, um, hmm. well, there is one that really interests me. And I don't know. I, I try to think of something better, but I really want to be able to talk to animals. I want to have that ability to just be like the animal translator, like I'm, you know, an animal TARDIS, or maybe just a Mars translation in general, huh? What do you think Mars would say? What do I think they would say? No, Mars? No, no, no. Oh, my yeah, dog, Mars? Your dog, yeah. Man, I don't know. I, he would say, I, I don't need so many... dog bed, is what he'd say. He'd say, <laughs> I like the couch just fine. I know, he does like the couch, and he likes to be next to you and snuggle, and then he's just got... <laughs> moods and what a he has baby. needs guys he has needs and i want to know them so you'll be his representative <laughs> i wish i could text my animals like when i'm gone i'm not gone anymore but used to be like gone there there's be, a like, really first. funny thread that's gone around of uh of a cat and his owner texting and it, it's stuff <laughs> like uh, the world is ending. It's like you're under a blanket again, aren't you? He's like, never mind. The world's not ending. <laughs> Stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think I there is that. a device where you can you can communicate with your animals via Wi-Fi. Like you, it's this little treat giver that has a camera. Yeah, I saw that. A My cousin uh, has that. Uh, uh, GalaxyCon founder Mike Broder has that. So he will. Hey, watch this. It'll shoot the treats at his cats off of his phone. I, my cousin has that. Yeah. I love it. I couldn't do it. My animals would be like fat within a day. <laughs> I wouldn't like stop. It's just a video or video game to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Ready Player One with animals. Oh, too much, too much. So, okay. all right. All right, John, I'll tell you what. Uh, if anybody comes up with a, a wacky quirk or something you want to throw out, be ahead. I mean, but... not, I've got a couple that, that I have in mind uh, that I, I have a hard time choosing between. I would either like to be able to travel in time or okay. control people's thoughts and actions. Hmm. You want to be Trump, basically, with that last one. Oh, he doesn't control my thoughts and actions. I mean, no, I maybe, you're, maybe in we're reverse. all immune. No, but We're that's, that. that's some control, uh, too, though, isn't it? We we lost the My Chemical Romance kid. Oh, well. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I have one, too. Do it. I would like food recall, the ability to manifest in front of me any meal I've ever had in my entire life. It's called puking. No, that's just no. what you just had. I mean, something I had like 10 years ago where I'm like, oh, I, I can't. That was amazing. All right. All right. Like that that's pizza, so good. That pizza I had in Tuscany that had eggplant on it. And I've never gotten anything that good again. I want to have that right now. And I want oh. to have that right now. That would be very useful in the current, in this current, you know, yeah. situation, honestly. I'd save a lot of money on DoorDash. If, if well, I could have Din Tai Fung's Shalom Bao right now, like just go pop. And have them? Yeah, I'd take that too. That's Is that the place we went to in California? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh man. Man, it's awesome. Oh, so good. Place, man. Take oh, me. I'm down the street. We There's a place next to my house that has the best soup dumplings in the Dallas area. Really? And Jeng Chi. And I order it all the time. It's one of the best things I've ever eaten. Jeng Chi? I have to look at it. Next time we're in Thank California you. together, we're going to go to this place. Yeah, brother. I'm down. So good. You don't have to convince me to eat. 
<laughs> you all can chill at my place afterwards if you want. It's down the road. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. There's yeah. quite a few in the, in the LA Basin. Like that goes for everybody in the there. chat, too. Anybody in the chat participating today can crash at Kellen's house. You heard it here first. Yeah. All right. Oh, Kellen, what's your address? <laughs> Uh, it, it one two three <laughs> not real street. <laughs> That's weird. You only got about to show up What's that? A whole bunch of people are about to show up at that fake address. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, that was the Simpsons joke. All right, Eric. I, if that power extended to beverages, I follow you around all the time and ask you to replicate Pepsi Clear for me. So, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> don't ask me why. Hey. Before we go on, Patty, I have to. I have to throw. Since you brought Pepsi Clear up, do you remember Seven Up Gold? Yes, I know. that was great. Right? Seven Up Gold. Was it yellow? It was like a, it was like a cinnamon noted. Um, what what like Patty? How would you describe it? Like a cinnamon ish noted. Uh, it it almost had a, a cinnamon and maybe a little clove. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Huh. Yeah, and it was okay. weird because I didn't. I don't like clove, but this was okay. Clove. It was soda. Fantastic. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. What was it the was... one that was like Dr Pepper crossed with Big Red? Anybody remember that? Oh. Maybe. Is that sounds good. Red? I don't know what that is. Dr Pepper crossed with Big Red. Um, Wasn't it Dr Pepper Red? Is that a thing? A thing exists? I don't. I don't know. The nineties happened, so it if, was a thing. Okay. If there's a Dr Pepper if, that's cherry and vanilla, and it is delicious. It kind of sounds. Oh, it's like good. It. Yeah. Is is that now? Does that exist now? Oh yeah. Oh Thanks. yeah. No, it, it's called Dr Pepper Red Fusion. That's, that's what, what it, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that still exists. Mm. I don't think so. This see, bottle see, looks dated. Yeah, this bottle looks <laughs> quite dated. Here, I'll, I'll I'll send a link to it in the chat. Please. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna ask you to start throwing some questions out from our audience. Are you guys ready? No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sort of. uh, this one comes from Julie. Who was your favorite superhero villain from when you were a kid? Oh, because that, well, never mind. She's not a superhero. Cass, uh, sorry. I'm thinking. Superhero. It was Molarom. It was what? Hmm. Molarom from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Uh, that qualifies. That's a super villain? Yeah. Yeah, that would call, I would call him a super villain. Super Indiana hero. Jones. Indiana yeah, Jones. Hmm. Right? Indiana Jones is a pulp, a pulp action hero. So, yeah, I he would absolutely qualify. What quantifies ah, as kid? As I like a Terrence Stamps, General Zod. Oh! <laughs> I learned Pizzazz from Jen, Jim and the Holograms, but that's different. She was a villain. She was awesome, and she was green. No, that works. Does that, that it? Work. Yeah. I yeah. loved her so much. She was so cool. Oh, and Jaws from Moonraker. That was another one that I liked a lot. Yes! Mm. Yes! Go Richard Keel. Um, I uh, I actually dressed as him for Halloween one one year, and I couldn't figure out why I was freaking out all the people who would open their doors when I was trick or treating, because I put tin foil all over both my upper and lower teeth, and so I'd smile at them to show them that I was Jaws, and they'd cringe like, "Oh my god!" Anyway, for a minute there, I thought you were going to. <laughs> for a minute there, I thought you were going to say people were upset when I opened the door because I was a thirty-year-old man standing there trick or treating. Yeah. No. Trick or treat. <laughs> My last Eric, trick or treat was at seventeen, and that didn't go well. Eric, that's not. I uh, trick or treated until I was seventeen too. Well, <clears throat> well, you get a second chance when you become a parent. That's when, true. When you when you walk true. with them, <laughs> that's and like, you can drink the whole time. Yep, mm. it's true. <laughs> Kellen, do you have a supervillain? Um, probably. I the original Teen Titans was my was my thing when I was a kid and also Ben 10. So either Vilgax or Slade. Slade. It was supposed to be Deathstroke, but they couldn't use Deathstroke, so they used Slade. Well, that, that character has like five different names. He started out as Deathstroke the Terminator, then they couldn't use the Terminator, then Deathstroke, then Slade, and then Wilson's, yeah, so. Slade Wilson, yeah. Slade Wilson's, yeah, back and forth. Pro so probably childhood, yeah. 
It's awesome. All right, that's good. Julie, thank you for that. That was a good one. Yeah, Julie, that's a good question. Yeah. Thanks, Julie. Hey, never gotten that one before. <laughs> nice. Jude, what's next? This one comes from Helena. How do you think the character your voice would hand do you voice would handle quarantine? He wouldn't leave. Would he would never anymore. leave. He would, <laughs> overhaul would never leave. He would just stay in his bunker forever. He, he can barely take it during not quarantine. Why would he ever leave his house again? He'd probably make like a white room and just stay in there. He's so afraid of uh, of germs and stuff. <laughs> A white room like the one you're in right now. Yeah, but with uh, more pillows and uh, sanitizer. Although I guess the virus wouldn't live through the blue flames, would it? Like it? No, it wouldn't. Pretty hot. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess he'd do pretty well, other than the whole like having no house anymore thing. Your innards must be like a furnace. Indeed, eats yeah. lots of Thai food. Believe it or not. Uh, hey. Poor Dobby. <laughs> Thai food's delicious. Come on. I know. I'm talking to. Never yeah. Mind. <laughs> hmm. You know what I'm. I'm trying to say. Poor Dobby. <laughs> Poor Dobby. Poor Dobby. You came and you gave me a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Dobby oh, no. is a cookie. Uh, I miss you guys. I know, Dobby right? Is pretty, uh, <laughs> Oh man, uh, uh, <laughs> Eric, uh, how would your character handle all this? Well, you know, Shigaraki's like he's the puppet master, right? He's pulling the strings, so I would think probably a lot of DoorDash, yeah, uh, <laughs> a lot of a lot of Drizzly, a lot of uh, a lot of using the apps to get people to do his bidding. Do his bidding. So you know what you've been doing. Oh, you know what you could do is you could like, yeah, this is dark. You could give, you could have one of the hands is infected and that's the one that you reach out and like touch people with. If you're mad at them, you could just like give them the Rona. You just have a whole new oh, oh. thing, you know? How would he know? How would oh, he, how he know, know if it was infected? Well, he would know, Kellen. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I just pictured him. <laughs> okay, thank you, Leah. Suspension of disbelief. Gosh. On all of the hands, right? Red rub on every one of the hands. Right. Run on each one. So. Yeah. He, he, he would use all for one to give one of the hands a mouth that coughs on people. Yes. How about that? He should put lipstick on the, you know, like. Meh, 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 meh. Are you ne are you next to me? Like that's when you're lonely, no, 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 not when you're. You know when you get the. I can't. I can't. It's hard to do in this. I don't even know where my camera is on this freaking thing. Anyway. It's the black dot. <laughs> Just do this. Might be a little. It's right there. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there, there, it is. You go. there, there you go. Right, right there. Right right there. there. Right here. Everybody, everybody, let's everybody do the figure. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't get out. It's weird. Wow, great Hi. teeth, man. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks. I've had them my whole life. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, Leah, how would uh, how? Oh, would she was prepared. She was prepared. Yeah. Have you seen her? She's got mask and protection ready to go. She's like Your blood transfusion. She ain't gonna stay in anywhere. She's gonna go out. She's gonna turn into someone else. Get them in trouble, you know, <laughs> and keep it protected. Yeah. So <laughs> nice. she, do have she, the mask. she knew. She knew what was up. Always she wanted helpful. to. <laughs> uh, uh, Helena, thank you for that one. That was a great one. Thanks, Good Helena. Question. Good question, uh, Helena. Thanks, Helena. Helena. Let's see. What do we have next? I don't know. Do we, we have one? Here we go. Okay. okay. This one from uh, Fedzvik. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, do you pour milk or cereal first? Cereal. Cereal. Does anybody cereal. do the other way? I don't, Who does the other I, way? That would just make a mess. What right? animal I mean, does cereal. it the other way? I mean, if you do it that way, it's cool. I'm sorry that's, if we're shaming you. you for that. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's fine. You, dude. Do, it, do it however you want. Yeah. This, poor, this poor guy is trying to find someone in the world who thinks. <laughs> no, -uh, <laughs> he's trying to make yeah. his friend look silly because he's going to yeah, be no, like, no, no, occasionally, no one does this. I will recycle the milk from time to time. 
to, sure. to, to double the dose of whatever it is that the milk has been yeah. infused with. If it's or like you just want more cereal. Whatever, yeah. Yeah. Like if you're done with your bowl and you want some more and there's milk in there, you just put a little bit more in, stir it around. Yeah. You yeah. know what's you know what's really good is when you've eaten like a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch with the milk, right? And then no. it's and then it's all gone. And then and, and then the milk with the cinnamon in there is left. And you can dip like marshmallows and stuff in there and eat it like that. It's really wow. good. Wow. I've experimented a lot with desserts. Don't ask me why. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> cereal is a dessert to you? Cereal, uh -huh. Cereal is a dessert to you? I mean, no, marshmallows are. Pretty pebbles or something, yeah. I, I yeah. just, I mean, I, I didn't know that cereal could be a dessert. To me, it sounds like breakfast, which it means can be that part of a dessert. It can be one of the ingredients well, like, of dessert. If, if, cereal, if cereal is breakfast and yeah. cereal is dessert, that means that your dessert after dinner if, is if an you go, entire meal. If you go to a Baskin Robbins and you see the toppings, what do you see? You see some cinnamon toast crunch and Fruit Loops there. That's true. And That's fruity right. pebbles. And fruity pebbles. It, it can be part of a dessert, but on by your... itself, it's a breakfast. But Kellen, it's just part of a balanced breakfast. <laughs> Well, that's not even real. That was like a marketing strategy. No one ever said that. It's that, not true. That, that, it's whole, not. That, that picture that always show part of this balanced it, breakfast, it, it, was, it was still a balanced breakfast. It may have been back in the 90s. Without the cereal. Yeah, yeah right. right? Yeah, exactly. And, and Leah, go ahead and change Toga out of your hat, your little thing in the middle. Change it to Buzzkill, because you're just, you're just ruining it. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, you know? <laughs> Hey, J Jason, do you have a sound clip for, whoa. <laughs> uh, she's you she killed her. You killed Leah. Oh, she fell, oh, she, she's got to get her dog now. Watch she's out. Okay. She she's was a clone. She's a clone, clearly. Oh, there she now is. this okay. is the real Leah. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to ruin everyone's day. Did We're you, villains. It's nah. what we do. I, right. I, I'm a fan of Booberry. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Booberry's good. Too very strong. You can make a really well. I'll tell you later. This is a child friendly speech. Sounds good. I'll tell you what happened after I ate a whole box in one sitting. Thank you oh. for that question, Fed oh. <laughs> That took yeah, a yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Hi, oh, 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 oh. from Liz. Oh, uh, what is something that you will would like to learn or see happen to your character either in season five or in future seasons? I, I want to know who I am, man. Yeah. Leah? What? Are you okay? Yes. What are you drinking? I was drinking water. I was hydrating. <laughs> what was what that? Was that, that it was like kind of jug they put on top of the, the water dispenser at work. Uh, My you lord. Made a, you oh, made God. an enemy now, Leah. <laughs> Never heard of I was going to hassle you for the rest of the show. For us, man. Just pour it in here. And then... <laughs> Y'all, forget my manners. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. I have ruined the panel. No. Leia, no, I, I do that too. I just I just have like the, the refillable ones. Uh, next We're ruining time things. For Patty, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Next time we have any of you on, please tell me. Get yourself one of those big jugs with three X's on it. And just like... <laughs> <laughs> Play the banjo. What's that, like corn whiskey? Is that like corn whiskey, typically? Is that like white lightning? My, my oh, corn moonshine. Corn squeezes. Yeah, white lightning. It can be filled with it. It can be filled with anything you want. Hey! I'm going to go off screen and drink my water. Hey! <laughs> no, do it on screen, please. It's, it's totally worth it. It's really worth it. You're going to spit that, aren't you? Should we answer the question? Yes. Okay, on point. season five, I would love to know more about my uh, character's background and why, and why, just why she's the way she is. Who taught her she needed to hurt people to um, love them? Public school? Oh, uh, probably. <laughs> She's damaged. <coughs> she is damaged. I'm, yeah. I'm just... She didn't start that way. I didn't start that way. That's what happens when you, well, no. I did. And you abandon them. 
I mean, damn it. I know. My mama gave me up when I was three. Four. Jason. That was real heavy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here blowing bubbles. You're talking about abandonment. <laughs> yeah. Um. That's how I play that character, man. It's, I just yeah. live in my own life. Fair enough. No, man. That's that's that and that's well and that's, if, if we're going if we're going to to drop it into that territory i hope my character's alive and gets his arms back eric oh no <laughs> well then i hope he pokes your eyes out that's um, what i hope with for what with, what's he gonna go. poke him with with his beak <laughs> he's a bird big old beak me <laughs> I he goes, I would say, you know what I you know what I want my character to have? I want Shigaraki to have a girlfriend. Okay. Hmm. That's what I'd like to see in season five. Where's okay. he gonna put those hands on her? Yeah, he always he already has a bunch of hands. He has a bunch of oh sorry. <laughs> wow. This is, this is you weird. walked into that one. This got weird and dark and I didn't. everything's weird. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, Everything's weird right. right now. It's Liz, okay. Liz, thanks for that. Bro. Liz, uh, we just want everybody to still be employed next season. There we go. That. Hey, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jude, what's next? From uh, we're laughing at us. Nikalia, if you could change your character's backstory, what would you change? That's interesting. I don't know her backstory. Yeah, me neither. Um, I know. I want to know it. I want it to be an open book. I would, uh, I would, he would overall started on the streets as like an abandoned kid. So I would want him to be adopted by not mafia, maybe by a hero. Then he could have been a hero medic, uh, probably because his, his quirk lets him like cure like cancer dead ass. So, so like it, he could like do so many good things if he, but wasn't a villain, but. It's, it is how it is. So that's what I would change. I don't know if there are very many good applications for my quirk. Like, you could heat up know. tea, sear steaks. Yeah, just watch Avatar. All, all the good thing that Firebenders do, he can do that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It, yeah, it would be very trendy to go to a restaurant where the steaks are seared by a former supervillain. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Dobby's place. Ooh, that'd be cool. <laughs> Absolutely. Do Dobby's bar. Dobby's and grill. place. Do Dobby's bar. Oh, that'd be so great. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm just thinking of all the potential brand names for it now. Uh, like do 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 Dobby cheeses. Hot Dobby's. Hot Dobby. Hot Dobby. Hot Dobby. I need a hot Dobby. <laughs> Maybe it could be like a, like a Korean grill, and he goes around all the tables and greets the guests and like oh their little oh 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 Jason da 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 BBQ yeah 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 oh oh da BBQ maybe just da BBQ da BBQ da BBQ are we answering look at that this question <laughs> yes <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. I tried, but we we flew away again. <clears throat> it's inherently sillier than than the, the ones in person. Right there. Yeah, well, we're in our own homes. We feel it's more true. comfortable, it's and true. we've been locked down. We've been locked when, down. So when you're up on a giant stage, like all eyes are on you, you feel like you know. Nick, and, and 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 raise a good point too that some of you just don't know the backstories of some of these characters. True. They are other than what the characters themselves have revealed. Um, True, which is may, maybe maybe in the manga some stuff mm -hmm. has been yet to revealed. I don't know. I know some of your peers have read the manga and cheated, and others just wait till they get the script and they they go on in. So Daddy, I love that you consider that cheating. <laughs> I, I really do because I didn't do it. I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat either. Hey, whatever. It helps. <laughs> ah, see, Kellen cheats. He just admitted it. Cheater. I don't cheat. Look, I, I debuted in like November and then we picked up again the next November. What else was I supposed to do? I had like a year to research this guy. Of course I was curious. <laughs> not just uh, going every day. Oh, it's my girl. That's not true. We're barely there. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I'm fooling you. I'm just my, my day will come now. So were yours, Leah. 
<laughs> hey, remind now. insecurity. It just All fine. A reminder to everybody in our private chats us uh, throwing stuff out, our questions up there. If you would like to chat with our panelists as a group or individually, get an autograph or a personalized recorded message, head on over to galaxycon.com. Slots are plenty available. So with that, Jude, let's go ahead and do another one. And this comes from Jackie. What do you think your characters would be like if they were heroes instead of villains? And by the way, she loves you, Overhaul. One sec. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for that, Jackie. Now everybody knows who the who the best villain in here is. Hmm? Oh, because you have a frog? <laughs> I can because get a frog. a frog? Wait, oh, a frog. I killed a you. Do you have a frog? You did not kill me. You just took my arms. I don't have a frog. I have a prop, though. Do you? Uh, yeah. Do you? Well, well, I'm not going to. Uh, okay. Show and tell. Here we go. Yeah. In the meantime, I was um, saying, if go, my go. character was a hero instead of a villain, oh my God. All right. Wait, that's a Misfits mask. This, a misfits shirt. We're doing this then. Yeah. Yeah, it is. What up? All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> see what you started, Jackie. You see what you started? I started something <clears throat> fun here. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is one of our GalaxyCon live chats where anything can happen, and God willing, we certainly hope it does. Oh, man, this thing is hard to put on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I know what he's going to do. I know what he's putting Whatever. on. <laughs> well, let me find a drum roll. It's not meant for putting on. It's meant for display. Uh, oh, that's cute. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. Wow! <clears throat> oh, look, everybody. It's a, it, it's sh <laughs> clearly Shigaraki. <laughs> he froze right lie. there. I you love it. Like 17 sequels. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> you could just pick up a knife. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> To be fair, I could just get any white glove. Killer, killer. Anyway, <laughs> what do you think your character? I think he'd be like a, a medic that's like re still really disgusted with everybody, but not to the extent that he is right now. But he would still be like, he'd be like, your teeth are filthy. How you, you haven't been flossing, have you? Oh God, what have you been? You have you been taking a jackhammer to your arm? What are you doing? You know, stuff like that, just like shaming them for so for not being careful, and then it's like ah, fine, you, you know. What about you guys? Uh, she'd be a chef. Yeah, a chef. She'd be like all knifey knife chef chef. Maybe you, you know. could, uh, but but that's like like a hero chef, right? Yeah, like a hero chef. So you could totally be Bobby Flynn, no question. Yeah, Ooh. and the food would be like healing food. You can work and at Dabi BBQ. Potion food. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Maybe you could be. Maybe you can be the executive chef at at Da BBQ. Da BBQ. Yeah. Da BBQ. Yeah. You can Where order. You? Okay, you can order like food that will heal you, or food yeah. that will make you feel something. Or maybe that makes you feel powerful, that imbues you with with power for 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 a time. For yeah. good, because we're heroes. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to Da BBQ, where we pour the milk first. Yes. Where every table has a statement. Dobby Q. Oh, this could be like a Dobby Q and A. Yeah, that's uh -huh. true. I don't know how to answer the second part of that question. Um, yeah. Oh, it works. I, <laughs> I, I love overhaul. Um, yeah, how would I you answer you? it with me too? Oh, oh. Me too. Me too. You also love overhaul. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you too. Come back. Ge oh. Genuinely. Come back. Uh, uh, Jackie, thank you for that one. <laughs> Took us as many places. Jude, what's next? Um, Aranka, what villain do you think has the best motivation? Hmm. Not it. 
Yeah. <laughs> you do? Are we going to fight? Yeah. No, I mean, sure, right. we can fight. You want to fight? We're going to virtually right. fight on the virtual. You page. first. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Go, go first. Go first. Okay, go. <clears throat> Ow. Ow. No, no, no. Me. No, 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 no. You're hitting everyone. Get you with the hairbrush. Uh, uh, I think that my hair. Hair. My hair. That, that you own a hairbrush? Happens. Yeah, I have hair. When you're kicked to the curb, <laughs> you take it out on society. And it's deserved. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> like, I think, honestly, though, honestly, I know it's, it's hilarious, but. <laughs> I am listening. But Sorry. he has the he has the clearest motivation to hate the heroes the way that he does. If his father is indeed true. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh yeah, I mean. Yeah. I do. Anyway. Um case closed. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'll, That's I'll, another con show. I'll concede to you. I think I've made my point on overall's motivations. I, I don't know if any of us can say for sure what the best one is. Overall we motivations are for the fans to love him. Uh, yeah. No, he, he's the biggest attention grabber ever. That's him. Not the, the, se the secret villain who doesn't let anybody know who he is. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. We have time for one more. So I'll ask Jude to roll up our last question of this session. And this one's from Bella. And I got a question. If there was a secret villain school, who do you think had the best grades? Not me. <laughs> no. Not me. Uh, me. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, actually, probably Toga. Wait, yeah, it's Toga. Toga. Yeah. Better yeah. than Toga. better than overall? Yes. Probably. Really? I think maybe you yes. guys excel at different subjects. <clears throat> yeah. Possibly. I think I'm a dropout. You you would you which way is Leah? You would yeah, you would be better at um <laughs> at like combat stuff, and but I would be better at like uh biology. There you go. Yeah. For grades. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, knows okay. how to pull apart a body and put it back together. I think Toga's. She would be really good at science, like biology. Okay. <clears throat> like stealing blood and like. If I Five, we'll say, top, no, we'll say top two. Top two. Maybe they're okay. rivals for the top uh, top of the class there. And she would love cutting things open. Like, Dissection. you know, yeah. dissecting. Yeah. And... You guys are really lab partners. Oh, okay. that's, yeah. I'll take that. Easily. He would social distance, but he'd, he'd, it would be good. And I think that. <laughs> I think that Shigaraki ends up wearing like the hands of the step of the uh, any any substitutes that come through, right? <laughs> any bad ones, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice, Bella. Thank you for that one. <clears throat> and GalaxyCon viewers, this has been the cast of the League of Villains, and that was my time, but it doesn't have to be yours. If you like to chat with our panelists as a group individually, purchase an autograph, get a personalized recorded message, head over to GalaxyCon.com, and while you're there, be sure to check out our schedule of upcoming events like this. Panelists, before you go, do you have any upcoming projects you may be allowed to share with us? No. Watch I, you know I mean. I'm going to sit in the other room shortly and have dinner. All right. I'm looking That's forward awesome. to that. That'd be great. Uh, Are you going to take pictures? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Kind of a project. Yeah. yeah. But as as no, 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 no. There's no, there's no work anymore. What are you going to have? <laughs> there's no work. <laughs> what are you having? Uh, I don't know. Maybe a sandwich? The same kind. <laughs> no. What's on it? Fries. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Plunderer. Plunderer is actually it, it's airing now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my yes. God. Yeah. Hi, I'm on Plunderer. So, yeah, we're yeah, yeah. Plunderer. Yeah, we're Plunderer. Um, and it's great. It's a great show. It's funny. My my character has a great name. His name is Schmerman. That's right. Oh, you're Schmerman. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Every I was writing Plunderer, Plunderer for a little I, bit. I can't get past it. I was no one. He's an evil, evil, <laughs> soft-spoken dude. 
<laughs> anyway. Plunderer. Yeah. Plunderer. And uh, uh, nobody chatting with you that, fine anyway. folks. Yeah. <laughs> and if you if if you want to check out JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I'm the main villain in that right now. If, oh, that's if, cool. if that strikes cool. your fancy. Mm -hmm. He's 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 pretty pretty nice. It's not going to be on it's on Toonami, but it's not going to be on this Saturday because uh the virus has slowed production. But uh we'll be back next week. So look out for that. Woo! Right on. Show, show us your drink. Show us your drink, Kellen. This water. Uh, all right. Cool. <laughs> I'm boring. Wait, tea, iced tea. Uh, I, can drink, I can drink bubble soap with a lemon want. in it. Old fashioned. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Uh, Lee, got anything in the horizon? Uh, not mentionable. Right, no. but but, yes. glad, but but you but you do though. That's the important thing. Keep yes. watching. You got some stuff coming up. And again, I know a lot of you are able to work from home. And and as always, I, I miss you guys so much. I, I thank you all for joining us today. And we're looking forward from GalaxyCon here to have you back live on our stages and getting you in front of our fans when the world yeah. is able to unpause yourselves. So that thank you. Absolutely. And from all of us at GalaxyCon, we thank our audience for joining us today. We hope to see you again this weekend where GalaxyCon Live will be hosting cast members from Achievement Hunter, The Flash, Stranger Things, Fright Night, and Karen Gillan, joined by Jennifer Morrison. Wow. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care and keep washing those hands. Bye.